Hi ladies, it's Emily with MJ Cosmetics. Welcome back. Um, first, I'm so sorry that I didn't release this video on Wednesday. Life just kind of has a way of taking over sometimes and that's what happened to me this week. But um, I have always really tried hard to um, you know, pay attention to the needs of my clients, listen to what moms have to say in terms of you know, what their frustrations are with makeup, um, what it is that they're looking for, what they would like to change. Um, and one of the biggest things that I have been hearing lately is that um, they want to know how to create a really beautiful eye look in about 10 minutes, um, which I understand that struggle. It is all too real for most of us. Um, a lot of mornings, you guys, to be perfectly honest, I leave the house with nothing more than my foundation, my brows, mascara, bronzer, and maybe if I'm lucky, I have time to apply a little bit of lip balm or lipstick before I leave the house. So I totally get it. Um, but I was able to come up with a really beautiful, simple eye look that takes about 10 minutes to apply. Um, you can make a few changes um, after you get home from work if you're meeting some of your girlfriends for drinks. So it's super easy. It uses about three colors. So let's go ahead and get started so you can figure out on your own how to do this at home. So the uh, palette that I'm going to be using today is my Unique Moodstruck Addiction Palette. This is number one. Um, this is my favorite one. I actually only have two palettes right now, but this is my absolute favorite because there are several textures of neutrals in this palette. Textures are really, really important when creating dimension. Um, so this palette has mattes, it has satin, and it has shimmers. Um, so I think I have actually shown this to you guys before. The colors that I'm going to be using today is this one here, which is a really beautiful satin. Then I'm going to use this um, like milk chocolate color. And then here, this has a little bit of shine to it, um, and it's a dark, dark, rich brown. So these three colors are going to be what's going to create this beautiful eye look for you today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, tools, again, are super, super important. So if you guys are still using the like the little applicators that come with, you know, your um, your eyeshadow palettes or that you get at the drugstore, toss them out because I always tell my clients that um, as an artist, if you don't have the right tools, you're not going to get the desired results. So if you have any questions about essential brushes, go ahead and comment below and I am more than happy to leave product um, suggestions for you on your brushes as well. So to start, we're going to use this first color here and I am going to use this as kind of a highlight color. Um, but I'm not just going to put this in the corner. I'm actually going to bring it about halfway across the lid because one of my goals with this is I want my eyes to look really bright and wide awake. And then once I start mixing it with the other color, you're going to see the beautiful, beautiful dimension that it's going to give you. This is also a cool color because depending on your skin tone, um, it almost goes on looking a little bit silvery. Um, I've noticed on some people, it almost can have a little bit of like a gunmetal gray or even a little bit of a green sheen to it. So it's a really cool color, but it goes on really well. It blends out nicely and it's not too frosty. Like I say, it's more of a satin finish than anything else. So the next color we'll use is this beautiful milk chocolate. And I'm going to use this same brush. I don't even need to clean it off. So I'm just going to start right where that other color left off and I'm going to start blending that toward the outer corner of my eye. Now, usually for me, because I always want to give my eyes a real lifted appearance, I usually do the inverted V shape at the end of my eye, but I'm not going to do that this time because I don't want a lot of color on the upper lid. So I'm just going to bring that to the lower lid 
And then I'm gonna let my brush fall right in my crease and I'm gonna start drawing it up and blending it out toward the brow. So I'm really focusing the concentration of color in the hollow of the eye this time instead of bringing it more up onto the brow bone like I normally do. These colors are really wonderful because they're very highly pigmented um, and they're formulated in such a way too that they just blend really, really well. Blending is so key. I cannot tell you how many times I've gotten a shadow and have ended up returning it because um, it just doesn't blend well. I'll either end up with a lot of fallout and all of my eyeshadow ends up being like under my eye regardless of how well I prime or it just doesn't stick at all and that's just not the case with these which I love. So we're getting some really good color payout. I'm just going to continue to bring that down a little bit farther toward the tear duct and then we'll stop. So now we can do the other side and again I'm going to start on the lid and just start pulling that color toward the outer end of the eye and then start bringing it back up toward the brow, staying right in the crease line. You can bring it outside of the crease a little bit, but the whole purpose of this eye look is really just to emphasize the shape of the eye and to contour the eye while adding a little extra dimension to it. I love emphasizing um, my brow bone up at the top because it really emphasizes the arch of the brow, which also gives your eyes this beautiful lifted appearance, which is always really, really great. Okay, so that is our base color, and that's the basic shape that we're going to stick with throughout this whole, whole tutorial. So then I'm going to take my, this is a shadow brush, but it has a little bit of an angle to it, which I love using um, for all of my contour work with my eyes. So we're going to take the last color here, which is a really rich brown. Now this does have a black undertone, so it goes on pretty dark. So I'm not going to use a whole lot of it. And I will go ahead and I'm going to apply that basically to the outer quarter of the eye and just immediately start blending it upwards, staying right in the crease, making sure not to go outside of the crease because, I, again, I don't want a lot of color above my crease line. And then I'm going to drag it up into my brow, and that's how I'm going to get my lift today, is drawing attention to this area right here, and then I'm gonna stop. All you wanna do after that is we're just gonna blend it out a little bit, and mix those two colors together, make sure there are no lines. I always like my eye makeup to look more like a watercolor painting rather than an oil painting. Okay, so we can do this on the other side. I think right now we're probably Let's see, let's look at my timer. I'm at about eight minutes and we're almost done, ladies. Quick, quick, quick and easy. So again, we're gonna pull that up right into the crease. The main area that we wanna have darkened is the outer corner of the eye. And we're just gonna pull this up, making sure we don't make it too dark so as to close up our eye but instead to simply contour the eye. Then we're gonna go back with our fluffy brush, blend it out slightly, and you are basically done. So the only thing we need to finish off this look with is I always love applying a little bit of liner under the lash line when I'm in a hurry because a 10, makeup, 10 minute eye makeup look does not allow for 
really detailed work for a cat eye or a winged eyeliner or anything like that. So this is a really great tip for you. Um, instead of applying your eyeliner to the top of your lid, we're going to apply the eyeliner underneath the lash line. What that is going to do is it's going to emphasize your lashes. It's going to make them appear darker, fuller, and thicker without applying eyeliner. So all you do is you put a little bit of that MAC Pro Fluid line on your angle brush and basically you're just going to set it on that water line underneath your top lashes and lay down color that way. Now I am going to go all the way into the very corner but you can see the difference from this eye to this eye and yet I don't have any visible eyeliner on. So that's a really quick tip to getting the definition of liner. Whoa, I just totally stabbed myself in the eye without having to spend a bunch of time at putting eyeliner on because I know that um, winged eyeliner can make people really nervous <laughs> if you're not used to putting it on and it does take a lot of time. So that is a step that you can skip and you can do this instead. The last thing we're gonna do, just to marry the top to the bottom, if I can find my little brush. Oh my goodness, you ladies, I have to seriously go through my brushes and whittle them down a little. So I'm gonna put a little bit of color right on my lower lash line just to balance the two out. And I'm gonna use the two browns that I used. I'm gonna do the light brown first and bring that from corner to corner. And my trick with this is I always smile and you can kind of see this line here. And I make sure that that whole line gets filled in. Then I'll take the darker color and I'm just gonna use this on the very outer corner. I'm not gonna pull that all the way over, otherwise it'll make my eyes look smaller and nobody wants to look like their eyes are smaller than they actually are. So just continue to blend until you get the actual color that you want. And then we'll put a little bit of that dark right in the outer corner and start to blend that through. Okay, and then I always on the lower Lash line, I like to take my finger and just very, very lightly blend those two together because I don't like to have a lot of heavy color on the bottom. There we go. See, and there he is again. I don't know what it is about my kids, but it's so funny. It doesn't matter if I'm on the phone, if I'm making a video with Jackson. He always has to go to the bathroom when I'm making my videos. So I hope you guys are all really entertained. Um, so if you have any questions about this eye look, please just drop a comment below. But I hope that it's given you a few ideas and a little bit of encouragement knowing that you don't have to spend 30 minutes in front of the mirror to have a beautiful sculpted eye. So until next time, be beautiful and live beautifully.